and his name is um, Nika Shinabari. So if, you, if your name is familiar, I want people to come and gather around and uh, make a little space. You can go in this room here and look in that room. Nika Shinobari created this kind of group of piggish people <laughs> at the dinner table, imagining this was in the period of the 1800s. And you can see they're having a very uh, grand old time. We discussed his work and we explained that he has no heads so he can keep the racial identity uh, unknown, up to the imagination. And the other factor is a blended tone of skin. But the colors of the uh, uh, the fabric is um, Indonesian, which was uh, textiles, which was then brought to Africa. And there's a sense of the Western, this, is, this fits into the Western American European tradition of the house, but it's blended into the sense of an African uh, culture of the clothing of the people at the table. So this is pretty fascinating. And you can touch the screen. Please come back. You can always come back and extend. And this is not really moving too well. Or it's taking a little time. Party time, Reimagine America, a centennial commission by Yinka Shinabari. And this was brought here in 2009. Now, I know this is a little uh, more information than is needed, but these, these sculptures frighten little children. Why do you think they frighten little children? Because they're beheaded. Right. Yeah. So I'm told that they have this exhibit about half the year, and then they don't have it. I mean, it still frightens kids if they're it's here. But all these factors are very interesting um, aspects of the entire experience of the, of the piece of the museum. So I want to walk around a little bit more, just get a little flavor of how expensive all this. Look at the ceiling, the decor. Everything is beautiful. Yeah. Why is she... Because it's supposed to show the rudeness of drunk, rude people. It's not normal. This is not a group of nice dinner guests. It's a rabble-rousing kind of... Yes? Don't you think just because these people look drunk that they're wearing that? They're wearing what? No, because that's how a person looks like when they're drunk, wearing those clothes. Well, it's in his style. We have no more about the artist, and the artist works in this particular genre of um, colorful clothing from Africa, Indonesia, and his statement is a blended ethnic concept of people that have no particular origin. They're a mixture. Everybody's mixed, and that's the statement here. They're just showing how mixed that this dining room is an elaborate formal dining room, and these people are kind of sloths, <laughs> my opinion. But would you agree? Yeah, and they kind of remind me of a box of crayola. Oh, they're a box of crayola, okay. Well, let's just continue this a little bit more. I mean, I know you can yeah. stay as long as you want and each year we'll finish everything. But right in here, we have a, a study of uh, books.